Hey everybody, Lucifer here. And I am playing Saint Kotar, the yellow mask. Now, I know very little about this game. I know it's a horror game. I know that it's a point and click adventure kind of game. And I also know that it was developed in Croatia. That's one of the reasons I actually give it a try. That and it's free. The prologue, at least, it's free. So, yeah. It's a Croatian game and let's say I want to support local developers. <laughs> Do gotta say that for now UI looks interesting, looks good. I believe in God. Okay. God is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Okay, so from what I did gather, it's... What is this place? Oh, I have no memory of it. I feel... guilty. I did something horrible, but I can't remember what it is. I can't remember my life at all. Oof. I need help, and I must seek forgiveness. Okay, tutorial. As I said, so this is walk. Should be, yes. And this a should be silent cathedral too. of tall trees. Its gaze gives me a crippling sense of dread. Okay, now let's look at the church. I did not say enter, I said look at the church. I can't. Okay, the doors are stuck, apparently. May I come in? All I seek is help and forgiveness. That voice, I recognize it. Uh, church? There's something about this church. I think I've already visited it numerous times in the past, but I don't have any memory to support that thought. Huh. So he kinda has amnesia. Uh, let's look at the window. It's barely visible, but the altar seems unusual. It is adorned with strangely shaped sticks and I think yellow cloths okay yellow yellow mask as the church says we'll see I can't get in I tried and this should highlight yeah interactive objects wait did I miss something on the church apparently so more windows graves and Sacred Heart. A symbol of Christ's eternal love for all humanity. Okay, uh, second window. Will I see the same thing? We'll see now. It's barely visible, but the altar seems... Yeah, it's the same. And I believe the only thing left, uh, the whole, no, that is just the church, I saw that, and the graves. I have a strange feeling looking at these graves. Okay. For yes. reasons unknown, the stones oh. have no names or dates, just a cross. Oh, 
Well, that makes sense. Let me just check audio for a moment. Voice, it's kind of silent. So I'm going to put the voice up a bit. I'm not capable of taking that path. Why not? I'm not capable of taking that path. I saw everything else, so I can only go to the doors again. Wait, are they open? It won't budge. Nope. Father, can you let me in? I, I know it's you. Here on the doorstep of the blessed house, I'm asking you. I'm begging. You have not set your mind on the things of God, but on the things of men. Okay. I know I did something horrible, I can feel it, but everything's so obscured, I have no memory of my deeds. I beg you, have mercy, let me pass. I need his help and absolution. I guess something's so. appearing on the stones. Oh, what appeared on the graves? Petra Donani, 1943 to 1997. If this was set in Croatia, forgive me, mother. I barely remember you. As I was said, why the hell? The the. The last Here name is kind of sticking out. Of my mother, Petra Donani. I mean, it's possible. Probably is so, but I don't know. I, I'm gonna nitpick on this a bit. Sorry. It reads Yosef Donani, 1935 to 199. The year of his death is missing. Oof. I can't remember what happened to you. Father, can you... Your mind was infected by your corrupted soul. Shame on you, unrighteous creature. Okay. Did I kill them? My mind may be roaming in the shadows, but... You don't have a soul anymore, son. Look inside. What do you see? Um, guilt and sorrow. Guilt and sorrow. If you had stayed true to the faith, nothing sinful would have ever happened. Right. I've never abandoned faith. The, the true faith. What is true faith? I know you taught me what it is, but I can't remember. I can't remember anything from the past. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. I'm gonna presume they went with not standard Croatian names to. Uh, Kind of make the game appealing to more people because uh, I don't know. It makes sense to a me. A long I time ago, say. you've made a fateful decision to abandon God. There shall be no grace for you. Fateful decision to abandon God. Uh, I never abandoned God. Is that Let me pass. Let me understand what. Enough! No words will ever open that door again for you. Davada <laughs> Kadavra. I'm sorry. It's a pity to what you've been reduced to, Benedek. A corrupted soul is like a bottomless black pit. 
It nourishes a false faith. Okay. You have been eternally banished from his house. Fair enough. But forgiveness is what he can give. Even in the darkest of places. Bad luck to catch. Accept the your burden. Uh, Bible? I accept your Bible, Father. It is my burden now. Now walk to the other side of the valley until you reach the place of torment and sorrow. Okay. That is my punishment. To dwell eternally in such a place. You've already been punished. For your sins you have been cursed. Yay. Curse me. Deeds cannot be undone, but can be forgiven. Eh. Yeah. If yeah, you truly repent and want to be absolved in his eye, you must go and save your bloodline's last soul. Okay. I don't understand. I'm the last of my bloodline. Everyone else is dead. There is another. Fallus! Wait, Oops. I'm begging you! Oops. I kind of skipped that. Uh... Where's the last soul? Who's the last soul? Father? Fa nope. No Into answer. your hands, I commend my fate like I always did. Yeah. I okay, I skipped that. Can I check the Bible? I should contemplate more about this decision. I was trying to read the Bible. Uh. My burden. My. Uh, can I combine it with. I don't know, grave? Probably say he's gonna contemplate. Holy Spirit, bless this wandering soul. Oh, so that works. Mother's grave. Mother, may you rest in the arms of God who formed you from the dust of the earth. Rest in peace. Amen. Can I... I don't know, chug it in the forest? That's a strange notion. <laughs> I do gotta experiment. I do gotta experiment. Father, am I allowed to pass now with the burden in my hands? Nothing but silence. Okay. And here we go. So far, so good. The path to redemption. Oh, Jesus. Or hell. Ooh, this is like place. Not a single soul is alive here. I may be late. Okay, uh, remains. It's a rotting mass of scorched flesh and dried blood. I should stay away from that. It could be infectious. Uh, fair enough. The eye. God, talk to me. Give me a sign. Where's my bloodline's last soul? Uh, Nothing but silence. What did you expect? Pile of cadavers? The scent so close to this strange altar is unbearable. Well then, step away. All of these people scorched beyond recognition. It's impossible to. Hold on. They all have almost identical marks on their flesh. Oh. Examine. So 
so familiar. I must have seen them before. Probably. I know. Seals of pledge, the devil's marks. These people pledged their obedience to the most evil of all. Poor mindless beings. There's something on one of the cadavers' neck. A necklace, it seems. Do I pick it up? First of all, I'm going to try and... It's not going to work. You sure? It's formed by several people crawling into each other. Uh. Its significance and use are beyond my comprehension. It's formed... Yeah, yeah, okay. I uh, got that remain. It's a rotting mask. Okay, that's nice. Next. The eye. Can I talk to the eye again? Oh, I can pick up the necklace. God, nothing but suck. Yeah, okay. Uh, pick up the necklace. Let's become a grave robber. It's a rosary, still intact. Some initials are carved on the cross. B, D. Aren't that my initials? B and D. I can't recall. I I'm struggling, but there's something about it that... Oh, shit. I don't know what that be, but I'm gonna look at other stuff first. Salvation is what this person sought but failed to achieve. Its limbs are still intact, but the head has no eyes, no mouth, uh. and no ears. Ouch. That is nasty. Fire mutilated its hands and gave it a locust-like figure. Ah. Uh. And remains, I already went for that, so... Can I check a Bible at you? I have the strength of God. Speak. Who are you? I have the power of God and the enemy on my side. <laughs> In the name of God, answer me or be gone. In the name of God, answer me or be gone. I think you just got your name, dude. Victoria. Victoria? She had the rosary. My rosary. Those initials are mine. You don't say, Sherlock. This is my sister. My bloodline's last soul. Dead. In front of my eyes. Um, this one is aggressive, this one is self pitying. Which one is better? I believe both wrath and. I don't know what this is narcissism. I know it's deadly sin, basically. I'm gonna go with anger. You killed my sister, B. May God drown you in the lake of fire! Burn eternally of its shrieks and groans of pain and despair! How oh, very merciful. <laughs> your life, your sins. Ooh. Your bloodline is cursed. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that out. <laughs> I love how he just nonchalantly looks. Really? <laughs> the fire. Fire, the screaming, the smell of burned flesh. Barbecue? I remember now. 
I executed them all, torched them alive in the name of God for acts of heresy. Yay. Good job, idiot. And I killed Victoria. The last of my bloodline, too. But I still can't remember. Nothing before or after this act. Nothing at all. It's like I'm seeing someone else's memory. Sorry, I'm just trying to kill flies. Yeah, okay. That is... Save my sister's soul! Punish me! Okay, that's a bit of selflessness, my so... Sins. My sins! My sins! Mea culpa and all that stuff. Uh, eternal torment and sorrow is all I want! Okay, yeah. Uh, drama queen. Now, I do like this game. For there, uh, for there are sins that lead to hell. What is it? Serious constipation. <laughs> Sorry, I I had to. Okay. Uh... My my eyes. I can't see. I can't see anything at all. My my eyes are fine. It's it's just that I don't. I, I don't have my glasses on. Okay. It was the most terrible dream I've ever had. That wasn't me. That's not who I am, God. You know me. Okay, still fighting. And I'm brave thing I never seen. Yeah, right. I've never been forbidden to enter a church. I remember everything from I know what true faith is. I'm obedient only to you, God. It's what I want. It's how my father taught me to be. My father who one day just disappeared from our lives, shattering my mother's will to live. Okay. My father, who gave me his Bible the day before he left our family. Okay. Uh, yeah, wait for the Bible. Oh, I'm on the couch, apparently. What? I, I can't find it. It's not in my jacket. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is a part of Where the game is it? I actually it saw. It must be here somewhere. What is it? Something's on the floor. Hopefully the glasses. Glasses? Oh. Oh. I'm so distressed. How was I supposed to find anything without them? Okay, put the glasses on. There we go. Victoria may have been killed by my hand inside the nightmare, but she did something even more terrible to me outside of it. She dragged me to this town and made me stay in this living tomb of a house that tried to taint me while I was sleeping. Yeah, the house is... No, it didn't try to taint me. It tried to curse me. Yes, to curse my soul. I was told in the nightmare that I was cursed. It must have been my mind which was trying to warn me I was being cursed by the house. Right, right. Or by the town as a whole. I don't know. Both, I guess. Okay, I love I love the premise of the game. But I'm still in peril here. I should leave at once. But I can't. I can't leave without my Bible, and I can't leave alone. Not without my my bloodline's last soul by my side. Okay, okay. So let's see, what can I... Oh, a lot of stuff. I went for the blanket and the stick. Can I pick up the stick? 
pick up the stick. I don't need it. You're an idiot. Okay, I'm just gonna say I love the game. I'm just gonna quick save. But since this guy gives me massive religious fanatic vibes, I am gonna probably I can't see my Bible in these shadows. I just hope. Victoria must have taken it from me while I was asleep and then placed it somewhere upstairs. There is no other explanation. Even though... Even it is strange. She never did that. No matter. I'm just gonna go for some sarcastic jabs at fanatics. Religious fanatics, I mean. I have nothing against religion. But stuff like this guy is saying, yeah, I find them funny. Someone. Uh, let's go in order. Sculptor, window, then everything in line. Okay, so let's start with the sculpture. The eyes give her a frog-like resemblance. Oh my god. The vastness of the woods is terrifying. Is this gonna be the seven plagues? Books? The manuscript of Luca Tomini, Codex Niva? Goldin, Heart of Pagubitze? I've never heard of these works. Heart of Pagubitze. Pagubitze is actually a place in Croatia. I don't know where exactly, but... Is it in one? No, it's not on the islands. I, I, I don't know. I don't know my own country, to be honest. This makes me wonder. Are all the creations in this house a consequence of someone's imagination or experience? Huh. Makes a good question, it's right? It's an unfinished painting of what looks to be like a mother and a child standing in shallow water. Okay. Now, figurines. Miniatures of strangely shaped white people. Okay. The painting is stained, but the sinister gaze of the man is still clearly noticeable. Okay, sculpture, another one. Is that a giant heart? Okay. I guess it's a family of uh, messed up artists. Nothing new. Who's there? Victoria? Nikolai? I don't even know who Nikolai is. Where's my Bible? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Where is she? Under the blanket. Come closer. Wake her up. Okay. Okay, curtains. Maybe I will s leave it for the sake of my eyes. Oh, I hate the dark. Well, I guess we gotta. It reminds me of a man I haven't seen for a while. One day he just stopped attending our church. Okay, next. The bed's empty. The bed's empty. Where is she? What do you believe in, Benedict? Where's my sister? I need to see her. She took my Bible away from me. Answer me first. Besides God, what do you believe in? I believe life should be...
Okay, that's just the dumbest answer I ever. I believe life should be spent in solitude where questions like yours cannot arise. See, I believe life is pointless without a family. We don't exist if we don't belong to someone else except God. Family, Benedict. Without a family, life cannot exist. Mm. Has a point. We gotta say that. That was a sacrifice I believed had to be made. As of today, I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not following. Um. Family members don't hurt each other. It's wrong. Don't you agree? Yes. Why did she do Victoria hurt you? What did she do this time? You did. You turned her against me. How? Wh what why? are you why? talking about? About the things you suggested to her yesterday on the train. I beg your pardon? I didn't say a word to her, to you, to no one, as a matter of fact. What about calling me an addict? Oh, is... I presume he was drunk when he didn't want the curtains to be moved. So he had a hangover, but... That I did say, but what have I done? I didn't turn her against you. She even defended you. Of course she did. When she's the one who gave me the morphine months ago. Oh. She did what? Morphine. She did what family's supposed to do. She helped her husband to alleviate his pain. Now, it's your turn, Benedict. Will you help me? Okay, this is some crazy story. I'm interested. Help you with what? Help you with what? I, I just want to talk to her. I want that too. I want to talk to my wife. So where is she? What's going on? I, I don't want to stay here anymore. You think I'm a degenerate? Have I imagined hearing your voices downstairs? Who? Uh, that was just me. She's not downstairs. How many times I called your names before hearing that horrible scream of yours? I screamed when I woke up from a terrible nightmare. Well, I'm living the nightmare right now. Uh. Don't lie to me. I heard you talking after that scream. I talked to God, and I talked to myself, and then I came here to talk to her. Is that true? Because the real problem I have is that the two of you emptied my whole bag while I was asleep. Why? Um. I don't care about all that stuff. Have it. Now that he mentioned his bag... Where's mine? I didn't see it downstairs. Oh. Just give me my morph... My, my pills back. Make my pain go away. What is... Okay, don't think he's drunk. Uh... Search me. You think I'm a thief? Go on, then. Search me. I don't see what's going on. I believe you can be anything you want, as long as it fits your vision of righteousness, Brother Benedict. Ew. But you're not stupid. You wouldn't risk being caught while carrying them around. Yeah, perhaps. Instead of... I did that, and I scoured the whole floor several times already. Oh, maybe it was you. Maybe it's time for me to start questioning my belonging to this family. I'm gonna go downstairs now. Why? I already told you she's not there. Don't be anxious. If she is, I'll make her talk and give me my pills back. If she's not, I'll find them by myself. In any case, I'll call you once I'm done. Uh, of course. 
Maybe they had a quarrel and she left before I woke up. I don't trust him. Whatever the truth is, I should take the chance and search for my Bible while he's not around. Okay, um... Remember what I asked you? Have you seen my Bible? I don't understand. You want my help now? <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm not sure I've seen it. But you should definitely search the floor. People say I don't have a keen eye for details. So I might not have noticed it. Okay. Anyways, can I pull up the curtains now? Not ideal, but much better. Definitely. Now I can actually see what the hell is going on. So there is a bed there. I've seen this sculpture. What about that one? Oh, so I can switch characters now. I've never seen this woman, but I feel like I know her from somewhere. It's not a pleasant feeling, though. Oh. So let me just check. Shift? Was it? Yeah, it was shift. So, obviously, your wife's not here, Nikolai. She must have sneaked out while Benedict was holding you upstairs. And now you're supposed to go after her, right? Perhaps she has your pills. But if you've learned something in your marriage, it's that she always expects you to make the most obvious decision. Okay, so... Just look around the room first. A family of manipulators, apparently. I'm gonna go for this later. First things... What is this? Have a key. That's good. But first, I'm gonna switch up and continue looking up at that room. I wonder what I'll find. I mean downstairs. I know what I'll find upstairs because that's the part of the game I saw. So I stop there, go for the bed. I'm almost done and I think I'll actually stop recording after that. A yellow blanket wrinkled only on one side of the bed. Which means that either Victoria or Nikolai didn't sleep here. And since Nikolai was here, he probably did. Bookshelf. Strange. These are not books, just blank covers with no names and no numbers. My Bible doesn't seem to be among them. And uh, next bag. Why am I looking at the bag? Was he telling me the truth? Apparently he was. Guess he did. It's completely empty. Why would Victoria take all of his belongings? It doesn't make any sense. Um. Okay, what's happening now? I didn't switch. I. I cannot switch. Let's see, what do I have? I have the sculptures, I have the sewing machine. Man, this is some old stuff. Stick, blanket, coat. Anyways, I'm gonna go for all of this uh, another time. So, if you enjoyed... What am I talking? If you enjoyed this video leave a like comment subscribe check the links in the description here's to the end might hope for and i will leave a link to the game in the description as well so yeah and bye